up, everyone? Welcome to 10, 10, 20, Move Your Mental Health. I'm Jeremy Smoot, and I'm super excited to be here with you today. I love exercise and the positive impact it has, not only on the body, but also on the mind. And today, I'm going to show you it doesn't take a long time to get in a great workout and feeling good. So like every great workout, we have to get our body nice and loose and do a warm up. So let's go ahead and do that together. I want everyone to start with your feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna have your hands on your thighs and we're just gonna spell some letters with our arms. Let's go. So we're going I, Y, and T. Again, that's I, Y, and T. Good job, let's do that together. Good, as we do this, let's make sure we're poking our head through the window we're creating with our arms. What that's doing is really opening up our chest, our shoulders, and our back. We've got 10 seconds left. Great job, everyone. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. In three, two, one, and relax. Great job. Now that our upper body is nice and loose, let's focus on getting that core and our hips engaged. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna step out in front, Hands are going to be in front of our body. We're going to rotate behind, come to center, and step back. Let's do it together. Good. So step, rotate, center, back. Good. Step, rotate, back to center. Good. With each time you rotate, I want you to challenge yourself to rotate back just a little bit further each time, really activating that core and opening up your hips. Good job. Let's make sure we're focusing on our breathing, breathing in through our nose, and out through our mouth. Great job. We have 10 seconds left here. You guys are doing amazing. And in five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job. So now our upper body is nice and loose. Our core, our hips are nice and loose. Now let's get those lower extremities and just start to get our heart rate up. And we're going to do that by marching in place. We're going to in three, two, one, Let's go, good. We're just driving our knee to the sky, pumping our arms with our knees too. Good, if you want, you can go side to side here. You can add some rhythm to it. Today's all about having fun, so make it what you want. Good job. Keep pumping those arms. Keep driving those knees. You guys are doing amazing. Don't forget to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. We got 10 seconds left. Keep pushing, keep working. And in five, four, three, two, one, relax, great job. Now our body is nice and loose and ready for this workout we're about to complete. So I want you guys to get back in that nice shoulder width stance. I want you to bring your hands in front of your face, almost like you're in a boxing ring. And from here, we're just gonna throw some jabs. Let's go. Punch it in front, good, great job. Let's make sure we have nice soft knees here. Our knees aren't locked out. Every time we throw a punch, we're not locking that elbow out. Good, we're keeping all that good constant tension on our chest, our shoulders, and our arms. Great job, if you want, you can sway side to side a little bit. That's gonna help get your heart rate up a little bit more. We've got 10 seconds left. If you need to, slow it down, that's okay. In five, four, three, two, one, and relax, good job. Okay, so now we're gonna move to a core exercise. For this core exercise, we're going back to that nice shoulder with stance. We're gonna put our hands up by our chin and we're gonna to try to meet our hands with our knee. And in three, two, one, let's go, good. We're just doing a nice standing crunch here. With every time you crunch, I really want you to think about drawing that belly button into your spine, feeling that good core engagement in your tummy. Good, great job, keep working, keep pushing. Let's make sure we're breathing in through our nose as we extend up, out through our mouth as we contract down. Good job, we've got 10 seconds left. Push through it. You guys are doing great. Keep working, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing job. We're doing great through this today. So now we're gonna go into a squat. We're gonna keep going back into that nice shoulder width stance. I want you to push your hips back towards the wall behind you. I want you to sit back like you're sitting in a chair. When there's a straight line from your hip to your knee, explode up through those heels, squeezing those glutes. Let's go ahead and do this together. Good job. Now, remember, this is your workout. Make it what you want. So if you can't go down this low, that's okay. Only go as low as what's comfortable for you. Great job. Let's make sure we're breathing in through our nose as we go down into the squat, out through our mouth as we come up. Great job. Keep pushing. 
Keep working. We're doing this together. Good job. Keep pushing. We've got 10 seconds left. Feel that nice, good burn in those legs and in your glutes. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and relax. We are doing absolutely amazing, everyone. Let's keep pushing through this together. So next, we're going to go into jumping jacks. So we're going to start with our feet a little closer than hip width apart. Hands are going to be down by our thighs. And we're going to jump out, extend our hands overhead, come back to center. Let's do this together. Good. Let's knock out some of those jumping jacks. Now, if this is too tough and this is hurting your knees or your hips, just step out. Extend those hands overhead. Remember, this is your workout. Make it what you want. Good. Let's keep working. Don't forget to breathe. Let's make sure we're breathing in through that nose and out through our mouth. Good. Great job, everyone. We're pushing through it. We're doing amazing. We've only got 10 seconds left in this exercise. Keep pushing, and in five, four, three, two, one. Great job. We are doing amazing. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn to the side to show you this next exercise, which I like to call lawn mowers, okay? We're gonna hinge our hips back, draw our hands down, pretend we're ripping two lawn mower cords up, and pull up to the sky. Good, let's do this together. I want you to imagine you're reaching down for that lawnmower, you're drawing that string and trying to get that lawnmower to start. But instead of arching your back, you're keeping a nice flat back. There's a straight line from your shoulder to your hip, your hip to your knee, and your knee to your ankles. We really want to focus on keeping those joints nice and safe as we work our back and bicep muscles here. We only have 10 seconds left. Keep pushing. Keep working. We're doing amazing. Don't forget to breathe in five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Amazing job. Okay, so now we're going to go back to targeting our core. We're going to get in that nice hip width or shoulder width stance. Hands are going to come up by our ear, and we're going to try to touch our elbow to our opposite knee, just like so. Let's go ahead and do this together. Good. Great job. Now, what I want you to focus on here is really every time you take that elbow to that opposite knee, Really focus on drawing that belly button into your spine, feeling that nice core engagement all throughout the front of your core, as well as the side of the core as well. If you start to get tired, just slow it down. That's okay. Push through it. We're doing amazing. We've only got 10 seconds left. Great job, everyone. Keep pushing. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Guys, I feel amazing. I hope you guys are too. So now we're going to take our feet and we're going to go a little wider than shoulder width apart. What I want you guys to think about here is taking your hip and put it in the back of your heel. And we're just going to lunge side to side. So we're going to lunge to the left, come to center, lunge to the right, come to center. Good. As we go down into the motion, let's make sure we're breathing in through our nose. As we come up, we're breathing out through our mouth. Great job. Let's make sure the leg that's not bending stays straight. Good. And we feel all that good tension on the inside and outside of our legs. We're doing amazing here, everyone. Keep pushing. Keep moving. Let's make sure we're breathing. We're keeping our back straight. Our chest is up throughout this whole movement. And in five, four, three, two, one more. And one. Relax. Amazing job. Okay. So now... We're gonna go into a very simple cardio movement, but one that's not only simple, but effective. We're just gonna do high knees. We're gonna drive our knees to the sky and pump our arms. Let's go, good. Let's pump those knees to the sky, get those arms moving. Now, if you're starting to get a little tired, just keep your elbows tucked towards your body. Maybe don't swing your arms. If you need to, and this bothers your joints, go back into that nice march in place we did during the dynamic warmup. Good, keep working. Keep driving those knees. Beautiful, keep pushing. We've got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax, amazing job. So now it's time to let our heart rate decrease and let our body temperature cool down. So we're gonna take some deep breaths in and some deep breaths out. Let's do that together. Inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Let's do this two more times, and inhale, 
and exhale. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Great job, guys. We did amazing. I hope this workout showed you that all you need is yourself and a couple minutes, and you can get in an amazing workout, and you can do it from the confines of your home. I don't know about you, but I feel great right now, and I hope you do as well. Bye.